Welcome to PE at Home. Hi Year 5 and 6, I hope you're all doing well and that you're okay at home. Obviously, we want you to be as physically active as we possibly can, but we don't want you to reduce your motor skills and your fitness levels, so hence PE at Home. You guys are going to be doing a different type of fitness activity each week, and we are going to be facilitating it myself, Mr Shaws and Mr Moore. Hopefully, you'll give as much energy to this as you would in class, and we're really looking forward to you enjoying these videos. So, let's get started. Today we're going to be looking at a HIT workout. But before we do a HIT workout, as you're fully aware, we're going to be looking at stretches. Not just any stretches, dynamic stretches. And as you know, they are stretches where you're moving whilst you're stretching your muscles. We're going to be looking from bottom to top, stretching our muscles, and also I'm going to be posing some questions, see if you can recap and remember the muscles that we are focusing on. Brilliant. Are you ready? I'm ready. The first stretch we're going to do is toe raises. So we're going to be flat footed and we're going to tiptoe as high as we can and back down. If you can hold your stretch when you're on your tiptoe, brilliant. You should be able to feel it more in the muscle that we're working. I'm just going to go to the side so you can see it from the side point of view. Can you hold it for one or two seconds? Fantastic. Last one. And back down. I wonder if you can remember the muscle that we were focusing on. Really, it was our calf muscle, also known as our gastrocnemius. The next stretch we're going to be looking at is leg sweep. So our toe is going to be pointing to the sky or to the ceiling, and we're going to bend down, keeping our leg nice and straight, or bend your leg slightly, sweeping the floor. And sweeping the floor. Brilliant stuff. The more controlled and mobilised you are whilst doing it, the better it is again for your muscle. Can you straighten your leg whilst you're, you're stretching? Keeping your toes pointing to the sky. Doesn't have to be fast. Brilliant stuff. Now the more you do stretch, the more flexible you'll become. As you can see, I'm not as flexible as I maybe could be. Now I wonder if you can, again, we're, we're focusing on the back of our leg, so we'll be looking at our hamstring and also our calf muscle again. The next stretch we're looking at is going to be high knees. Now, we are year six, so we want to get as high as we can. Brilliant, as you can see, our legs are at a right angle. Brilliant stuff. We don't have to be jogging on the spot. Let's see how high we can get our knees, brilliant stuff. Now the next stretch we're going to be looking at is we're kicking backwards. So nice controlled, standing on one leg, it's almost a balance as well, and kick it up and back down. Up and back down. Up and back down. To get find more balance, maybe focus on something that's not moving. For me, I'm looking at the wall, really up. Down. Brilliant stuff, nearly halfway there. The next dynamic stretch we're focusing on is opening the gates. So we're in the middle, knee up and out. And back into the middle, knee up and out. Well done. Knee up and out. And for me to find it a little bit easier, I'll take a couple of steps in between just so I can swap legs. Up and out. A couple of steps. One, two, three. Oh, okay. Brilliant stuff. Fantastic. Now, because we've got good manners, we must make sure we close those gates. So the knees out, and we're doing it in reverse, and back in. And out, and back in. Out, and back in. Well done, nearly there, year six. Brilliant stuff. Now we're going to go to hip rotation. So with hands on your hips, small circles, nice and controlled. Brilliant stuff. Now can we make those circles bigger? Fantastic. Can we change direction? Well done again. It doesn't have to be done fast, more controlled, the more beneficial it is for you. Brilliant stuff, shaking it all off. Now the next focus we're going to go on is moving on to our arms. So we're going to be looking at levers, small levers with our arms. Arms are going to go on our shoulder, and we're going to make small circles with our elbow. 
world line. So we're making small circles with our elbow. Can we change the direction we look? Fantastic work. Now we're going to shake it off again. Arms straight out uh, by your side. We're going to do small circles. Brilliant stuff. I wonder if you can think about already. I can think. I can feel it in my muscle. The muscle I feel it's working on. Can we do small, big circles? Well done. And backwards. Fantastic stuff. Now, challenge for you. I wonder if you can have one arm going forward and one arm going backwards. That's your challenge. You can't do it today. Maybe have to think about how, how can we do this? How can we challenge ourselves and do this by the end of the week? Now, I wonder if you can point to the muscle you feel we're working on during that stretch. Now, I'm going to point to my, my arm, the top part of my arm, and a little bit on the back of my arm. Now, I wonder if you can remember what muscle is on the back of our arm. So not the front, the back. Brilliant, yes, the tricep. And also, it's a new muscle I might not have mentioned before in our P lessons, but it is our deltoid. So our deltoid is just on the top of our arm, just joined the shoulder to our arm. Just point to it here, that is our deltoid. And that's one you felt burning a little bit during that exercise, or that, that stretch. Next one, move on to shoulder shrug. So shoulders up, arms by your side, and down. And up towards your ears, and down. Up towards your ears, and down. Brilliant stuff. Up towards your ears, can you hold it? And back down again. And up towards your ears, and back down. Brilliant stuff. Now this time, I want you to look towards your, the wall, a certain direction, so I'm facing the wall. You're going to have your chin tucked in and you're rotating your neck to us, going in a circular motion. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. Can you change direction? Really good stuff. Now our last muscle is our, our neck muscle we've been working on during our shoulder shrugs and our turning of our neck. And that's just put here, that's a muscle we're working on at the top, just joins our shoulder to our neck. And that is called our trapezius. Now, year six, we are ready. We've done a workout from bottom to top. We're ready for a hip workout. See you soon. So, what is high intensity interval training? Well, the idea is that you guys are going to be doing an activity for about 11 minutes with 30 seconds on and 30 seconds rest. The idea is that during those 30 seconds when you are completing those activities, you are pushing yourself. You're giving everything you've got 100% involved in that activity. Now there are gonna be times when there are tasks that are slightly more difficult and hopefully we'll give you an adapted version during those videos. But you're gonna be copying myself, Mr. Moore, Mr. Schultz, and you're gonna be working as hard as you possibly can. Take those 30 seconds to catch your breath, get yourselves recuperated, and then smash the next 30 seconds. You've got this. Good luck. That's it, guys. We're going to start with jogging on the spot. As you can see, you've got 30 seconds. Let's give it your all. That's it. Keep going. Only a little while left. Brilliant, well done, you've made your rest period. So, 30 seconds to get your rest, to get your breath back, and for you to get ready for your next activity. Next workout coming up is gonna be star jumps. Get yourselves ready for star jumps. Coming in five, three, one and let's go that's it keep going guys you're doing so well not long left keep going remember 30 seconds flat out as much as you can high intensity
Yay, rest period two. Well done, guys. That's two activities out of the way. Well done. So next one coming up is going to be the plank. So get yourselves on the floor ready to take on the plank. 30 seconds of holding. The body nice and straight maintain the position don't worry if you're wobbling it's fine just hold it as long as you can last few seconds you're doing so well keep going rest period well done so you guys are doing so well that's three activities out of the way they are only going to get harder though so keep up the intensity if not increase the intensity so coming up next is high knees you're going to need to bring your hands from above your head down to your high knee and then continue going you are going to swap legs halfway through good luck and enjoy Go! Really, keep going guys, you're doing so well. And swap legs, that's it, moving to the other side. Rest period, yay! Well done, you are doing so well. Once again, keep the intensity up. You've still got some time left. You can keep pushing yourself. Remember, I wanna see 100% involvement. Coming up next is going to be crunches. Crunches, bringing your arm, elbow to your knee as you keep doing your crunches with Mr. Moore. Ready? Get on the floor now. Go! That's it, bringing the opposite knee to your elbow. This is using your core muscles, so keep going. See how many you can get done in those 30 seconds. Brilliant, I hope you're keeping up with Mr. Moore. Rest period. Well done. Once again, you are pushing it and you are smashing this hit workout. Well done. Coming up next is going to be cycling from a shoulder stand. So you need to be on your back with your legs raised in the air, ready to pedal to the middle. Okay, with Mr. Shawls, get yourselves ready. You've got eight seconds left. And go! Keep going, keep those legs moving. Probably one of the most fun activities we've got going on in our HIIT workout. Keep going. Rest period. Now I'm pretty sure that Mr. Shaws is thankful for 30 seconds rest. So while you're resting, don't forget, catch your breath back. If you've got a drink, have a quick drink and prepare yourself for the next activity. Coming up next are squats. That means you're gonna need to get your knees into a right angle and you're gonna need to bring your arms out in front of you. Are you ready? Let's go. Keep your body as central as you possibly can and try and get down as low as you can. You're doing great, not long left. Rest. 
rest period. Oh, thank goodness, because I can tell you that was burning my legs. So the next activity coming up is going to be push-ups. Now push-ups are notoriously difficult for everyone, except for obviously Mr. Moore and Mr. Shaws. But what I would like you to do is to have a go, see what you can get done. If you can't do a push-up, don't worry, you can revert to a plank that we did earlier, or you can do a push-up from your knees. It's completely up to you. Get yourselves ready on the floor. Go! Obviously we're not expecting you to go quite so fast, but I want you to see how many you can get done in that 30 seconds. Keep going. I hope you're making it look as easy. And if you're doing a plank, well done. And stop. Rest period, well done. If you were doing push-ups for that last round, well done. If you were doing a plank, just as much well done. Both activities are particularly difficult on your arms. Okay, coming up is bouncing in a square. So you're going to bounce on each corner of the square. You're going to imagine there's an imaginary square on the floor in front of you. And you're going to tap each corner with both feet. Get yourselves ready. Go. Tapping away. Mr. Shaws has made his box quite small, but I'm sure if you wanted to make them larger and take it slower, you're more than welcome. Or you can do a small one like Mr. Shaws and try and get as many boxes completed as possible. Keep going. Great work, well done, we've made our rest period. So, you must be getting tired by now, or at least I hope you're getting tired. We're working you pretty hard. Coming up next is going to be skaters. That means that you're going to slide from one side to the other side, placing your opposite foot behind your leg. You'll see what I mean when you see the video. So get yourselves ready. Two, one, go. So bouncing from side to side and placing that foot behind. Try and get those nice long gaps between those slides. If you're struggling with that, make it smaller, it's not a problem. Just try and make sure that leg goes behind each time. Doing great. Rest period! Yay! This is the last rest period of our HIIT workout. You have been amazing. And after this, you definitely deserve yourselves a round of applause. You've worked incredibly hard for the last 10 minutes and the last 30 seconds you have left are going to be scissor kicks. So you need to be on the floor, ready to participate with Mr. Shaws in our last activity of today's HIIT workout. Get yourselves ready. Go! That's it, legs swapping between each other. Well done. Keep your back as flat on the floor as you can, along with your shoulders. You're doing so well. We are so proud of you. You have been amazing today. Don't forget, coming up after this is your cool down, which will hopefully help those muscles that you've used today to just relax. Last few seconds. Well done, everyone. You're doing amazing. Keep going and stop. Now we're going to work on our warm down, which is very important after strenuous activities that we've been doing. We're going to work on our neck muscles first. We're just going to go to one side, and we're going to bring it to the other side, and then just round and forward at the front. And you're going to do that for 10 seconds. Now we are going to work on our shoulders. I am going to place my arms around the back and I'm going to pull my shoulders backwards and holding it in a certain position. And 10 seconds we're going to hold that. And now we're going to move to our arms. You're going to put one arm out in front, 
the other arm's gonna come round to your elbow and we're just gonna pull it across and hold it there for 10 seconds. So we'll do 10 seconds on each arm. Now we're gonna swap arms, other arm out, arm underneath the elbow, and we're gonna pull it across and hold it there for 10 seconds. Then you give your arms a little shake off. Now we're just gonna move down to our hips now. I'm gonna have my legs slightly apart, shoulder width apart, and I'm just gonna run my leg, my hand all the way down, and I'm gonna hold it at the furthest point when I can feel my legs stretching. And I'm going to hold that for five seconds on each leg. And then the other leg. Now onto our legs. I am going to put one foot over the other, keeping my legs nice and straight, my knees locked in, and I'm going to do the same motion as walking my fingertips all the way down and holding it at the bottom for five seconds. And swap feet. Try and go down as far as you can. So that's our warm down completed and you will feel the benefits the next day as it does help your muscles and your body recover very quickly. Now we're gonna move on to our motor skills. So today for our motor skill activity for year five and six, we're gonna look at target practice. Now I'm gonna be using different things that you can find at home. They are gonna be things like socks or maybe teddies if you've got a lot of teddies completely up to you. But what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at how we can use our hand-eye coordination to get that piece of equipment to where we want it to land. So I've got my socks ready, I've got six different pairs of socks, they're all scrolled up so that they're like a little ball, and I've got myself a towel and you'll notice that I've only folded my towel in half. That's given me a bigger area to aim for. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stand back probably about three or four metres just to give myself an opportunity to try and reach that target. Now what I'm looking for is my ball to hit the towel at least or to land on it. Now if I want to make this a challenge I might do a point system. So if it lands on the towel I get myself two points. If it bounces off the towel but it does make contact I get myself one point. So let's see how we get on. Two points. Two points again. Oh, two points. Ah, one point, two points, and two points. So, maths time, let's see how much I've scored. Two, four, six, eight, ten, and then my odd one that rolled off, I've got 11 points. So I might want to try and improve on that, and then I'm going to challenge myself further. Let's see what we've got for challenge two. Okay, so now we're on to challenge two. Now, challenge two is going to have to be more difficult, surely. So what we've done is we've folded our towel up into quarters, which means that I've now got a smaller target to try and hit. I've still got my six balls of socks, which means that I've got six attempts to try and do it. If we're working on the same score system, then obviously two points if they stay on the towel and one point if they roll off. Let's see how we get on. Oh, one point has rolled off. Oh, and rolled off again, another one point. Oh, so close. Hey, two points. No, one point. Hey, two points. Right now, maths time. Let's see how we've got on. Two points if it's on the towel, one point if it's bounced and rolled off, but only if it's hit the towel. If it happened to hit the floor first, doesn't count, that's zero points. So we've got two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight points. I reckon I can do better, so I'm going to continue practicing. I hope you guys are going to do as well. So, challenge three. Now, we're thinking about what you would have been doing if you would have been at school. So, for year six, you would have been looking at handball, and for year five, you would have been looking at rugby. And those things have got a specific pass, and it means that you've got to pass across your midline. So, your arm has got to come across from one side to the other side to create the pass. 
So we're gonna have a look at a rugby pass, trying to get the ball of our socks into the area that we're targeting. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna put my socks down, ready. And to get that pass, I'm gonna start from one side of my body and I'm gonna push it forward. Yes, got it. So next one, starting from one hip, pushing it across and over. Oh no, it went out. So starting again, pushing it and getting that pass. So I'm getting used to bringing my arm across my body and holding it like I would with the actual footman in school. Last two. Oh, nearly. And last one. So these are great activities to get us used to doing the things that we would have been doing in school. However, at home, you don't have the same luxury as having tons of rugby balls or the space to do it. And this is perfectly safe in your front room or your bedroom and a great opportunity for you to continue working on those multi skills. Well done. Episode one, it's done, you've been amazing. And I can't believe how much energy you have put into this video. The first thing I wanna say is well done. I am incredibly proud of you. I know that Mr. Moore and Mr. Shaws are, and we just hope that you enjoy the rest of those episodes that are coming up. As of next week, you'll have your own separate ones that will work a little bit more along the side of your curriculum subject. But really, we are incredibly proud. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have doing it and look after yourselves. See you later.